Today on Toy Shiz, we're heading to the Marvel 375 universe. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, we're totally checking out the brand new Marvel Legends adjacent. I know Legends is on the packaging, but these are not Marvel Legends. But they just like to include that in there to confuse more Target, Walmart, store employees in general. But these are the Retro 3.75 inch Marvel figures, pretty much their own scale. Check out my last video if uh, if you have any questions on them in that sense. But yeah, they're their own thing entirely. More reminiscent Mego Pocket superheroes than anything. Which, hey, that's cool. It's their own thing. Whatever. Doesn't matter. But yeah, we're taking a look at Wave 2, finally. Yeah, I got to reveal the Human Torch on my Toy Shiz channel. That was very fun. So thanks again to Hasbro and the Marvel Legends team for that. But we got a slew of other figures to check out, like Electra, right? She's looking really cool. Nice red. Love the card art on these. By the way, Daredevil also looking awesome. That's Daredevil to me, right? Iceman, very cool that they did this figure right off the bat and i love the translucent blue to him nice blocky face can't wait to check this one out magneto nice selection from the x-men universe master of magnetism and then you have the hulk as well which is a larger 3.75 inch figure just so yeah he kind of scales a little bit differently and i do appreciate that so this is gonna be fun sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot tiny 3.75 inch cup of coffee this is a look at the brand new marvel legends quote unquote marvel retro series marvel 375 that's the cool name for it and that's what i'm gonna be using by hasbro and if you haven't already be sure to check out my first video where we go over the marvel legends 375 wave one spider-man black panther iron man captain america electro cyclops they're all there including some variants that are only available on hasbro pulse whereas yeah all the other figures now will be in stores like targets walmart's amazon's and the like i will have links in the description below if you're interested for any of them mostly amazon entertainment earth and good luck in the search now. So let's talk about these figures. Here they all are out of the packaging along with wave one. And I think one, the first thing that pops out is that they're mostly classic looking Marvel characters. Two, the colors, the radiance are fantastic. Very reminiscent of the Mattel He-Man origin figures that they're doing. It's just very attractive. It's very fun. It's very toyetic. And that's what I think I appreciate the most, all while being very retro, which, yeah, that's the whole point. So let's check out the Hulk first. Again, he is a taller version of these 3.75-inch figures, and that works for me. He's got peg holes out of his feet. He's got basic 5 POA. Some of these will have 7 POA, depending on the character. And again, that works as well. Nice change up to the articulation. But the head, the arms, the legs... I would say my one grievance is that the head just doesn't work very well, the face sculpt. But as you can see, yeah, compared to Iron Man, he is taller. It's a great Hulk. Definitely recommend him along with Iceman figure. I like the blockiness of his head. I just wish his body matched it a little bit more. That would have been cool to see. But he's a very nice translucent blue. Again, head rotation right there for old... Bobby Drake. I just, I love the angles on that. He's got articulation, of course, at the arms and at the legs. And this is one of those seven POA ones because he will spin at the forearm as well. Powers, more powers, something clip on. I think that would be awesome for old Bobby Drake. Warbird, Carol Danvers, Ms. Marvel, whatever you want to call her. You know, it's peg holes on the bottom of her feet. She's actually done really nicely. Limited head articulation just because of the nice hair on her. You can put the arms up, legs up. She does have her classic sash right there. Get her going, you know, flying, whatever. It doesn't really matter. You can rotate this. It's a separate piece. But she looks great. This is actually a really nice looking Carol Danvers figure. I'll give him that. And I love that for each wave so far. Yeah, we've gotten some X-Men selections like this Magneto right here. Classic Magneto, right? He does have a little scrape on the back of his cape. Ah, oh, life is over with. I can't believe can't get that off. But yeah, really nice line work, nice paint. Again, he has some of the forearm swivel on him. The cape is removable if you want to Take it off. Or heck, go real classic, right? It's Mattel's Secret Wars. No cape. You know, Magneto knows what's up. But yeah, you just pop it 
right back on. And again, it's all of these are very fun, very basic, but dang, they look good. This is one of my favorites, Daredevil right here. And I love that they include weapons with him. Again, like I said, with Drake and all the other figures, more weapons. That's what we want to see, right? And he's got his Billy Clubs, lovely reds, nice dark burgundies for the gloves and the accents. I do wish that the Billy Club things could attach together. That would have been nice just to have like an extra bonus little right there. But yeah, this is... This is a great looking daredevil, along with Elektra. Nice reds on her as well. Nice face. She looks like Elektra. She does have the painted reds all over her. She's about the same size as Ms. Marvel, same sash, all that kind of stuff. Minimal head articulation, again, she comes with size, so Raphael can definitely be jealous, or, you know, if you wanna get the bullseye going in wave three, you know what happens, right? But again, nice articulation, legs, arms, heads, they're very simple, but that's what I appreciate. I like the retroness, it's just ingrained in me, so it's not for everybody, but I love that they just really succeed in the paint every which way, which finally brings us to my favorite, because I'm not biased or anything, but you got Johnny Storm, the Human Torch, and really, this is one of the cooler figures, to be quite honest with you. I wish that the little black marks would go on the back, you know, for his flame effect. Just a little bit more deco here and there, but the flames are awesome. The head on fire is awesome, his arms. He does not have forearm anything, so just legs, arms, and heads on this guy. But again, yeah, this is very cool. Johnny Storm and do fire and ice and all that kind of stuff. When you have them next to a Sentinel, right? Like a Hasbro Sentinel or yeah, you can do Toy Biz, what have you. Look at my other video. I did lots of comparisons in that. But yeah, with this Sentinel, that is very cool to have all the X-Men. I mean, you could find a lot of different toys that scale with these, which is fun. Heck, you've you started the Avengers, that's cool to see already. You got a couple here and there, and you can swip swap teams. You know how they always change up the roster from time to time. You got these street level heroes, you got Spidey, you got Daredevil, Elektra, and they all go really nice together. Again, it's the colors on these things that are so much fun. And also, it's just classic Marvel. That's what I really appreciate. Fire and Ice, like I said, Toy Biz, Tupac. Human Torch, Bobby Drake, the clear plastic really sells these two, to be honest with you. In the villain's realm, Electro, he's the true villain. Electro, Magneto, yeah, they're on the cusp right there. But yeah, the villain selection needs to be upped a little bit. Old Electro, I don't know how much he's going to last very much <laughs> longer. If you are wondering how they scale with Marvel Legends, they're incredibly short. So we got that out of the way. They're not going to scale with Marvel Legends figures, but... That will wrap it up for my video. Look at the brand new wave of the Marvel 375 figures. That's the name. That's what I like. That sounds really cool. And these are cool figures. If you're a fan of retro figures, they will definitely be for you. If you're not, if you don't care, if you only like articulated action figures, no, stay far, far away and let the rest of us who actually like these things have a chance to find them on shelves. But I am curious to know what you guys think about these figures. Are they for you? Will you be picking them up? And which ones do you have so far? And are you looking forward to wave three? We got Bullseye, we got Invisible Woman, New Storm, that's gonna be fun, Greyhawk, whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, some great food, but most importantly, remember when it comes to these old figures, make mine marvel. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.